Imhotep. Uh, the, uh, what I'm showing you now is a new game. A new game uh, that you have never seen. It's uh, mo mostly uh, for children. Now, if you have a child who is uh, in, the high, in high school or uh, junior high school, uh, even uh, elementary school, uh, the child can play uh, this game. Uh, the game is about uh, uh, colors, uh, uh, which you, uh, you can see, and um, um, uh, making the colors uh, align uh, with what uh, their values are. Uh, for instance, uh, uh, zero is uh, 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 black, uh, one is uh, red, uh, two is uh, yellow, uh, three is uh, green, and so forth. Uh, you know, all the, um, the codes are given to you uh, to, uh, for your child to learn. Now, why is this? Why is there an alignment with colors and numbers? Well, uh, what we have to uh, realize is the fact that um, there is uh, an idea of uh, relationships. Now, uh, we want to create uh, a relationship between colors and numbers. And now, why do we want to do this? Well, uh, uh, this is uh, the ability to enhance the understanding of anyone. So once you have understanding of what uh, to do, then you can think properly. As you know very well, uh, thinking is now really very rare. People don't think at all. Now what you have um, seen uh, uh, is the game, uh, the blank aspect of the game. But don't worry about that. You know, what you need to know is the fact that there is always uh, a relationship between colors and numbers. Now, this is going to be very uh, strange uh, to the child and to even you because you have never heard anything about a relationship between colors and numbers. But we are presenting uh, something to you uh, from uh, uh, a science that has always been there, which uh, the Europeans never touch. The science was uh, to be able to see uh, many things at once and be able to make some meaning out of what you see. And so we, uh, we want your child to learn, uh, to be able to see things in, on a broader pr perspective and be able to think uh, for himself or herself and do things right, as you know already. Um, uh, the world is messed up. Uh, people are dying. Uh, people are into things that are not uh, necessarily uh, doing any good for them. There is just uh, so much evil in the world. And so uh, to overcome all that evil, you need to think. And people are not thinking. That's why we are creating a relationship between colors and numbers so that your understanding or the child's understanding will rise higher and higher. And that way, your child is able to make uh, choices uh, for himself or herself. And in, in what we are doing now is the fact that your child is going to be able uh, with these uh, games uh, to do addition. You, you are going to see uh, the first page, uh, the first game uh, that appears uh, with an addition in which all the answers are 78. Now your child uh, may uh, come up uh, with something uh, with the answers that are different. Uh, but uh, once you go through uh, the instructions of the game, you will see yourself that your child is going to benefit a great deal uh, from what we have already. And so uh, what you have to do is uh, to be uh, very comfortable 
be very comfortable uh, with uh, the games that you are going to see. And believe me, when your child begins to really uh, concentrate on this game, uh, their grades are going to improve, their thinking is going to be better in school, and uh, their thinking even in life is going to be uh, more advanced and better uh, to do anything. So um, no one is going to brainwash your child because your child has that ability uh, to look at things uh, with a great deal of uh, concentration. Uh, look, uh, look at the uh, game co uh, coming. Uh, uh, the answers are all 78. You look at, at the addition, the addition that uh, we have done, you know, based upon the colors that, uh, that you see. So what you have to do is print uh, this particular page out so you can fully understand what uh, we are presenting uh, to you. What we are presenting, you know, is beyond addition alone. Because addition, the reason why we focus too much on addition is uh, the fact that it's simple, it's simpler uh, than multiplication also. And so once uh, you uh, you uh, concentrate on addition, you know that your mind is expanding. We want you to know that all of uh, mathematics, uh, whether it's addition, subtraction, or uh, uh, multiplication, or uh, division, your mind is always expanding. And when your mind expands, you are able to think much, much, much better than when your mind is, no, is uh, stagnant. So uh, that's the reason why you have to really uh, get your child away from video games because video games don't do anything uh, for the child at all. Rather, uh, there are games in there that makes the child evil. Here, your child is working with numbers. You know, he has uh, to fill in uh, the colors that he wants uh, to use and then put the numbers in there. The colors are all there. There is um, a defined a number that goes uh, with the colors. You know, as you see here, there is, uh, for instance, um, here uh, you have purple or violet, that is five. So the colors are identified. B uh, blue is uh, four, uh, green is three, uh, uh, yellow is uh, two, uh, uh, red is one, and zero is black. So all the colors are identified. All your child has to do is uh, put the colors into uh, the uh, game, uh, to the square, and continue uh, to play. You know, as your child plays uh, the game, uh, the, the child begins to see uh, the uh, relationship between the colors and numbers. And now, once the child is comfortable, now this is something that the child never sees in video games. They are in video games, your child is killing or he is being killed by somebody, you know, an uh, avatar is always uh, present in the uh, video game that tests your child to either kill or uh, be killed. And so you know very well that that is not uh, the way to go at all. What you have to do is look at, your, uh, look at what is happening and tell your child, look, this is going to be uh, good for you. In some cases, if you are going away and the child is going to stay at home, now give that child a particular uh, assignment. Say, look, when I come back, I want you to play uh, to have played uh, this game three or four times. I want to see the papers that um, uh, look at, at the pages that you have to uh, complete uh, for me. So uh, take these pages, uh, complete the games. Uh, by the time I come home, I want uh, to see what you have done. So you don't have to worry at all about ADD. AD, ADHD uh, is there for children who just uh, watch TV all day long or who play uh, video games all day long, and so they don't do homework, they don't do anything uh, when they are at home. What you have to do 
is make the child realize that uh, playing the game is going to be um, uh, very uh, uh, helpful in terms of uh, creativity. Now, once uh, you know how to concentrate, uh, you can become creative very uh, quickly. Uh, you, as you know very well, uh, cr there is nothing that is uh, creative uh, today. There are nothing in, the, um, uh, in this uh, civilization is creative. Everything has been uh, stolen. Everything has been uh, stolen. And so uh, what you have now is a stolen uh, property. Look, mathematics that I am talking about, numbers here, I'm talking about. I'm African, and so uh, there is no way uh, for uh, anyone uh, to say that I, I don't have any ability uh, to, know, uh, to know exactly what is going, what has uh, gone on. Mathematics was invented by Africans. It was uh, three ladies who invented uh, mathematics. Uh, one of the ladies invented uh, calculus, and the other one invented uh, trigonometry, and the other one invented geometry. This is seven to eight thousand years ago. So all of what uh, the European has today is all being invented uh, before. No Greek uh, invented anything. Uh, medical science was invented by an, uh, by Africans. You know, Imhotep. Imhotep was the, uh, the first uh, to write um, uh, the uh, medical encyclopedia. So you are seeing uh, that everything was done uh, by Africans. So why are African children failing in schools? Uh, well, the reason why African children are failing in schools is because uh, the school educational system uh, in, uh, um, presented by the Caucasian uh, has knowledge but has no understanding. And the African learns more by means of understanding. The African child learns more because of understanding. That's the same thing we had in Kemet uh, many, uh, about um, 3,000 uh, 3, uh, 3, years ago, uh, before uh, our civilization was kicked out by um, uh, the uh, Greeks. So we have always understood our things. We have always been after um, understanding. But when uh, the European uh, destroyed our civilization, then everything became knowledge. And that's the reason why we don't compete very well in terms of knowledge. Why? Because of the fact that uh, knowledge is, uh, is something that you focus on. Well, we don't focus on things. We concentrate. And so understanding makes you concentrate. When you concentrate, you look at things uh, very broadly and be able to bring those things uh, to your mind. Whereas when you uh, uh, focus on things, you only put those things inside your memory. And so uh, uh, you are dealing with uh, focus uh, on your memory and you are dealing uh, with uh, concentration, uh, concentration with your mind. Now, when you use your mind, you know, you are going out of your body. You are seeing a lot of things that you don't see when you focus on things. And so the white, the white rays uh, was able to use uh, focus by just uh, looking at things or hearing things or touching things. And that's the reason why they are still in Kemet. They are still in Kemet because of the fact that they want to be able uh, to see things uh, that we have uh, put uh, together many uh, thousands of years ago. Well, you know, your child must learn to know that, in fact, uh, we are extremely intelligent, that all our African people are extremely intelligent uh, to know exactly what uh, they, uh, they are doing. 
And the reason for that is because we concentrate a lot higher than anyone else. So uh, the fact that uh, we are able uh, to uh, do things uh, on a very extreme level uh, tells you that our concentration is very high and we are able uh, to do many things. Now, many things that we do are spiritual. You know, and the fact is, the reason is, uh, our, our pineal, our pineal glands work harder than anyone else as is a uh, pineal gland. And so the fact that our pineal glands work harder than anyone else it give, uh, gives us the reason uh, to know a lot of uh, things. You know, we uh, come up with many things. Uh, look at um, uh, music. Uh, blacks are the best, uh, the best in music. Look at uh, uh, athletics. We are the best in athletics. So uh, why are we so good in those things? Uh, because of the fact that uh, the uh, concentration level of uh, blacks is higher than anyone else. And so it's uh, very possible uh, for us uh, to be able uh, to do all the things that I have been uh, talking about. So get this game uh, for your child. Uh, your child is going to improve very well in school and your child is going to be able uh, to really uh, become creative. My own son, my own son uh, f uh, didn't go to high school at all. I homeschooled him because uh, the, the uh, school system was and is still very bad. So I homeschooled uh, my son and my son who was uh, 12 years, uh, uh, 15 years old was able uh, to pass the SAT uh, way out there. Uh, his course was um, one, um, I forgot now because it's uh, in 1994 or so. Uh, so uh, my son was able uh, to go to uh, university. Uh, he uh, got his uh, bachelor's degree at 19 years old and he, w he got a fellowship uh, to go to UC uh, San Diego. He uh, got uh, to UC San Diego and uh, spent, um, you know, about uh, six years or so, and he was able uh, to get a PhD, a PhD in mathematics, in uh, statistics. So my son is now a professor. He got uh, the PhD when he was uh, 25. My son was 25 when he got uh, the PhD. PhD at 25 in mathematics. So I'm just telling you that the uh, possibilities are there and I'm trying, I'm giving you uh, these uh, possibilities to be able to get your child to be as smart as possible. Nama.